Shalom Chavrim, I'm Steve. You're watching Israeli News Live with another quick take this evening, friends. And uh, should be Sunday back in the office there. But we do have some very serious news that is going on. Uh, different things, just three different topics we're going to cover today. Uh, one is going to be about uh, McCabe. Uh, he has actually done an interview on uh, CBS, actually on 60 Minutes with uh, Scott Pelley. And very, very shocking information there uh, in his interview, at least what CBS this morning show was, uh, they were interviewing Scott Pelley about it. They showed a clip of the interview uh, with Andrew McCabe. And of course, Andrew McCabe was, in a, was a career FBI uh, man who had replaced James Comey. And uh, he does have a new book coming out. The name of that book is called The Threat, How the FBI Protects America in the Age of Terror and Trump. You know, I'm going to tell you guys, listen, just like you guys, and, uh, and many of you I know still support President Trump. You believe that he's doing the right thing. You believe he's there to drain the swamp. But even after what little bit I have read, Sputnik News carried an article on this as well. But just from what I have seen thus far and with our own investigation that we are doing, um, that we have found are just some really disturbing information um, where uh, President Trump's name comes up in one of his uh, business dealings in his LLPs, uh, limited liability uh, partnership there that he was working with that, are, that is closely related to uh, Paul Manafort, Rick Davis, uh, Rick Gates, as well as President Putin, uh, his famous, uh, the chef guy that he fired, and also several other oligarchs that he was close to. And uh, we've shared some of that information with you guys already, but there's still other information that we're working on in the investigation of our own investigative journalist work there uh, that shows those ties that were going on. Now that goes back all the way to 2007. And uh, what was troubling for us, what we found out thus far, is how it was being, a lot of these businesses were created in order to do fast track citizenship for both Chinese and Russian officials. And, uh, just so happens to be that Trump's name comes up in one of these companies here, uh, but that's something we're still ongoing into. So, you know, listen, before we just quick to judge uh, Mr. Andrew McCabe, you need to think about things a little bit because there's some very sinister things going on and I clearly see a new world operation in motion. I see that Trump was put into position in order to facilitate this new world order and of course, the New World Order is only going to benefit the elite of the Israeli government and of course, the elite of the world. It's not benefiting the Jewish people. That's why I started doing these messages about where would you stand 2,000 years ago with Yeshua when he came because it was what? It was the Sanhedrin Council, the high priests, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the Romans, and they were all against, of course, Yeshua and the apostles and those Jews that were believing that Yeshua is the Messiah. This is what they're coming out with, with the Noahide laws and all that type of stuff there that's going on. Uh, so you got to think about this before you jump to conclusions. Uh, but it, it, what was interesting is Andrew McCabe was uh, bringing out how that for eight days after James, James Comey was fired, and he took the place of James Comey, they were discussing replacing President Trump under the 25th Amendment. There had been speculations about this. No one had ever knew for sure if it was really for real. Uh, they were looking at his cabinet ministers, those that they felt like that they were reasonably safe would be willing to do this. Um, and I know some people are probably shocked to even think, oh, wow, how could we ever even think about replacing President Trump? But uh, I'm telling you guys, some of the things that I've seen, I, I never had a problem with what they called Russian collusion because, okay, he talked to a Russian official or somebody in his campaign talked to a Russian official to try to make peace. I was never against that. I think that, that should any uh, elected a president should have a right to be able to do that. But the things that we're discovering on our end as investigative journalists are far beyond anything like that. Uh, it is a domination of world power by global leaders and certain people are being put into power to be able to do just that. Just like 
Pope Francis was put in power as the Pope of Rome, and they replaced Benedict for one reason. He was willing to go along with the Noahide laws, and so the certain elite factions that were going to bring about this Noahide system on a global scale in a new world order had to have him in power as the Pope of Rome at that time. So, so none of this stuff surprises me, but I can also tell you from my own experience when I worked with the government as well, I know all too well how that there are some good guys out there. And back when I was there, I didn't realize I was working with a lot of the crooks and criminals, but I knew that there were some good ones out there that were trying to unravel the illegal operations that were going on by the government and politicians. And but there's some really sinister ones there too. But it's kind of interesting though too, if you'll notice though, after this all kind of calmed down, they, of course they fired McCabe one day before he was to retire uh, to totally destroy that for him. Um, and, but oddly enough, Trump, they had a big cabinet shakeup. You had all these guys out the door he went, out the door he went. Anything to make sure that this new world order keeps moving along. I can't wait to listen to the actual 60-minute broadcast, and I'm also interested in this man's book, what he really writes about. And I know a lot of people say, no, we love Trump, Steve, you're wrong about this. He's draining the swamp. He's a good guy. Look, I watch the people that surrounded themselves. I watch the evangelical leaders that have surrounded the president and stuff, and I know too many of them are very much New World Order. You know, we got to really start telling it the truth, guys. Tell it like it is. Also, Pompeo tells Netanyahu that uh, the only way to bring peace to the Middle East is to confront Iran. You know, Iran is not a good nation. They got a terrible leadership. I agree with that. Radicals, all kinds of things. But most of those issues seem to be more internal, if you ask me. But the one thing, Iran, what have they been guilty of the last eight years? Helping Assad to try to... Uh, bring his country back to normal. And let me mention another thing too real quick uh, while we're at this. Uh, they have come out, the British have come out and admitted that they staged the chemical attacks to try to blame it against Assad. Hasn't made a mainstream media nowhere yet, has it? And also another interesting thing, the, uh, we know Venezuela's fixing to go under attack. The, uh, this, this, Maduro is moving now ZU-23 anti-aircraft guns in the back of trucks that they use to transport compressed gas. Jeez, I tell you what, it's crazy, guys. Anyway, don't forget, conference, March the 30th. Some of you guys, you're, you're already, uh, you're, you're going on to our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. You're getting your, it's not really a ticket, it's just make the donation, it's $50 per person. But don't forget to put in the description, it's for the March 30th Orlando Conference. Um, I'll update on the website as well. You'll see it's not up there at the top. I'll try to figure out how to make it go to the top there so you guys can see it easily enough. Um, you know, and, and in that way there, we will actually, we'll log all your names down and then we'll begin to try to email you to confirm uh, right now, if you're getting your, if you're if you're making that donation now, you don't have anything to worry about. We're nowhere near to capacity as of yet. We can do about 150 people, so we still got a ways to go. And most people wait till about the last two weeks before they start ordering. Uh, but we do expect it to pack out. It is non-refundable. I hate to do that to you guys, but in order to get the building big enough to be able to, to cover everything. We have to do it as non-refundable because otherwise we end up spending a ton of money for the facility and the next thing you know, people don't show up and we could have done half that size. So anyway, blessings to you. Thank you for watching. And it's gonna take a while for this to upload because it's nine minutes. Shalom, shalom in a world of angel shalom.